hello friends in this video we are creating a new splash screen activity so let's get started creating a new project called as splash and we are creating these settings as it is and renaming this main activity to the splash enter and it will generate new project okay we have done with the new project so let's design our ui element first so inside the resource folder inside layout and rename this layout to the relative layout and we need an image view for viewing our uh, logo so creating here an image view and image that content and now for this we need an a source file so i am importing this icon to our android studio by creating and here I'm creating a list of this file and rename it plus plus and inside this image view we are setting parameter to a source of a splash and this icon is appearing much bigger so we are creating a 200 display by 200 display image and let's create it at a center center in parent should be true and for this activity we need we we don't we don't need an action bar so for removing that action bar inside the styles i'm creating a new style call it as a splash and for this point uh, parent should be a no action bar and after this inside this we are setting the theme to the no action bar here and it will go on. for this we need to apply this theme inside our manifest file for this splash activity so parameter is theme dot splash yes. after this this image we need an a text view so create a text view call it as a wrap content and text to be whatever you want i am creating here as sg developers so and it is appearing so small so just pass as a text size to the 30 sp and it should be appear at the center so horizontal center should be true and we want this text appear below the logo so and we want text color to the white so creating android white color and we want background for this activity so inside the drawable inside the resource folder we are creating a new drawable resource file call it as a background and inside this resource file creating a shape and this shape is of a rectangle so shape will be a rectangle and we want the background in gradient form so inside gradient we have three parameters called as a start color start color and creating that 
so why after this after clicking this checkbox a uh, small box we can select whatever color we want so i'm creating this color to this and copy this color and after we want center color and after clicking on this box we want little bit darker so create so we want end color end color also add silver to that little bit darker also like this and we want this darker color uh, darker color at the top so i am passing it as a parameter angle and setting it to a 90 degree so it's looking nice to me and inside our layout file we are setting this background to where whatever we have created at a bg so it will look nice now and for this we want animation for the for to look much better we are creating a new animation for this we are, i am creating a new folder new resource directory and which is a resource type of animation so anim folder and it will create a new directory called as anim inside this new anim directory we want a new animation resource file i am calling it as a fade and in, in this fade file i am creating a alpha and we want this alpha from alpha parameter and so from alpha we want 0 from 0 to alpha of 1.0 and the last parameter is of duration so android open duration duration should be of uh, 4000 milliseconds so it will appear for 4 seconds and inside this flash main activity we are creating an we are it's time to code so we want that animation appear on that image view so we, have, we know that the id is image view so at, creating a new object of image view called it, at, called it as image view and we are initiating this object to by find view by id r dot id dot image view and we want animation so we are i am creating a here a new animation object uh, and call it as an animation and we want this animation from animation utils and we want load it from animation folder so we are passing here a context of get application context and we want that load from the directory of r.anim dot fed so we want this animation should be applied on image view so image view dot start animation and passing and we are passing that object we have created animation so it will create that animation after this after this we want to create a splash screen for that we want a new activity after the of new activity so i am creating a new activity new empty activity and we are keeping as it is after this inside this splash activity creating i am creating a new thread call it as a timer and it is a new thread is a new thread and inside this new thread we want to override this method for this override we are creating an override generate 
we can create this override method by clicking control and o also shortcut so i am overriding a run method inside this run method we want start an intent so creating an, a new so i am creating a new intent call it as a intent is equal to new new intent and we want pass it as a context get application context and we want the target target uh, activity of main activity so main activity dot class it will create that intent and for this we we need to start this intent so start activity and we are passing that intent so it will pass and for after after this uh, splash screen appearing we need to finish this activity so after uh, by clicking the uh, back button it should not appear after clicking this but we have here error called as a no it is syntax that is semicolon and we want it should be appear for the 3000 milliseconds means it will appear for 3 seconds and it is an there is a error called as surround with yes we need to surround with the try catch and we need to give this code inside this try and now it will create a splash screen so let's check this activity I'm running this activity on I emulate App has been launched and you can see that the animation is appeared and after this animation we doesn't get new intent so uh, intent start activity of the intent just wait a second it is not happening this or creating this as oh we have did a great mistake we haven't started this timer so this not happen so we need to start initiate this timer by initiate by start method so it will now start and so that error happened so now you can see that this animation and after these three seconds we get a new activity so we have created a splash screen thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you